Now, I've received calls from people very close to me, and my attention has been drawn to social media commentary on some portions of the comments I made this past Thursday during the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. Now, I've received calls from people very close to me, and my attention has been drawn to social media commentary on some portions of the comments I made this past Thursday during the Supernatural Empowerment Summit here in the Dome as I spoke on divine protection that we as Christians enjoy from God and was teaching on the need to activate divine protection from demonic attacks. This is one of our cardinal principles of faith as charismatic Christians. And to drive home my point, I made reference to several instances where I've encountered manifestations of demonic powers in my crusades, which have taken me to over 90 nations of the world, in fact, 92 of them. I gave an example of people who were seeking to levitate during a crusade in India. I gave an example of a demonic attack. I suffered as a very young pastor who had gone to preach at a bus stop around Kolebu. In reference to Nogopo, I wish to clarify that I never intended to refer to the town, but rather make reference to an incident that happened after a crusade at a flower. I had absolutely no intention to cast a slur upon the people of the Nogopo town and the Volta region as a whole. Amen. I've had very cordial relationship with the people of the Volta region. My wife of 38 years is in fact an away from Keta. Two of my biological children bear away names. So, <laughs> none of, yes, if you are clapping, do it well. Now, yes, that's true. His children, a, some of his children bear away names. We have a Selassie, Dr. Selassie Ajinasai, yes. So, yes, what he's saying here no, is true. Ian Twasso. So, none of the examples was intended to denigrate any of the towns and their people, but rather to elucidate the principle of divine protection to my congregants. So any, mis any misrepresentation or misinformation that has characterized the subsequent commentary and uh, reportage on social media, etc., is very unfortunate. My ministry over the past 40 years 
has been one that has spoken up at critical times in our nation as a spiritual gatekeeper and i remain committed to serving god's people and our nation as the spirit directs god bless you amen
he can't say such derogatory things about the town. And this is someone who got the order of the voter. Yes, he was awarded the order of the voter 2017. So how can he say something against the voter when he has won the order of the voter? <laughs> <laughs>